I've got seven o'clock. We'll go ahead and call the Parks and Recreation Committee uh, to order. Uh, if everyone has got their minutes in front of them, if you would review them and uh, I entertain a motion to approve the minutes. There's not any additions or corrections to it. I got a motion by Lonnie. I have a second. Second by Leslie. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. All righty, we move right on uh, to election of officers. The uh, floor is now open uh, for election of officers. Move to keep the uh, uh, current officers as they are. Okay. <laughs> so the so the see so the current officers is I'm the the chairman Lonnie's co chair and Chris is secretary. Is that right? So they stay the same. All righty, we'll move into the next thing and discussion items, playground updates. So we got Cliff here with us tonight. Playground is up and running. Everything looks good. We lack a couple of small things. Uh, we're waiting on some paint to match the playground equipment to do the repaint the Trey Parker sign and get that back up. Uh, everything else is moving good. We've uh, got all the cameras up. We lack maybe be four or five. I'd like to get a couple more on the parking lot and then uh, one more maybe on the entrance, but everything's running good, good and smooth. What about what we discussed in our last meeting about the uh, the names? Uh, any more discussion on it? Like the the wood slats, we've mentioned that climbing wall, or you got any more information on that? Or we need to we need to start moving on that. To decide what we're going to do. Yeah, Matt Matt Dockery is working on a a better a diagram of what he's uh, wanting to do, but it's basically a an A frame type structure with maybe a four. A uh, foot wide uh, platform on top, and each side will be sloped at an angle with an actual climbing wall on each side, and then each end will be a, a lighted plastic, like what you see uh, at the administrative building sign when you see it at night, the white with the, the black lettering, and the names will be put on each end uh, to be backlit that way. So when will we have some like a diagram or some kind of we uh, went for sure what kind of we looking at it? As soon as I hear from him, I'm at his mercy on that. We're working on that and a couple other things here in town, but that's priority. So just as soon as I can hear something from him, you know, a couple of other issues, uh, things we talked about ideas were uh, bricks and there's just really, I don't know where we would put them if we got them. Uh, I've got bricks with names on them now that need to be put somewhere. And uh, maybe putting the the wood attach it to the bathrooms or something like that. But I I think this A frame deal. Once y'all see it, uh, I've got a awful looking sketch of what he sent me. Just an idea to get it started. And I know uh, Chairman Gregor seen it. And uh, I don't know if any of you have seen it or not. But I can send it to you in email. I was kind of hoping to get something a little more. Uh, aesthetic for you to look at and make a decision on in this, but that's the idea of what I explained to you. I did see the uh, rough sketch he had. I, I really liked the idea. I think the kids would really love the little climbing deal out there, and I think that it would uh, be a good deal for the, you know, get the names. And would it be accessibility for new people to buy, put their names, or would it be just enough room for what we've got now, I reckon? The, the size, you know, would just be... Uh, just depends on how big you want the letters or the names and stuff. I'd say we could probably add some if, if necessary. And uh, we were, we've got several to go on there. 1350, 1163. So we've got a lot of names to put on there. Uh, like I said, as, as soon as I can get this, this from him, I'll just go ahead and send that out to y'all in an email. So we'll have it. Y'all at least know what's going on for next meeting. 
Does anybody got any more questions in regard to this or any more, any more ideas? Yeah, the sign, but I, I did want to throw one thing in there about the uh, cameras. If at all possible, if you could look at multi-sensor cameras where it would be applicable because each one of these cameras has a license and the multi-sensor cameras are, the price is very little, but they have more than one camera head. They got them in two or three or four. So you can have more than one vantage point, but only one license. And that might, you know, if you have a place where you can place a camera and look this way and look this way, it will take the place of two. So you have one of those and one for each of them. Right. Yeah, those are amazing. And it's only one license for a multi-sensor or a single. Yes, yeah, so. Cecil with HSS is working on me a quote for another 360 to put on the parking lot oh, with tennis courts and bathrooms right now. Perfect. All right, thank you. And I will have to say, I took uh, my grandson down there at the park at the playground the other day. He loves it. I mean, it's, it's real nice. Uh, I just think it's really nice for Trousdale County and Hartsford here. I mean, it's it's really nice. And I and I appreciate y'all trying to watch over it and everything. It looked like it was still in good shape. I've seen some stories on social media about what's been going on there, but I didn't, I didn't, at the day I was down there, everything was smooth and everything was like it ought to be. I did have to pick up a little trash off the, the playground area. I just done that on my own, and but that's no way to keep completely that out of there or whatever. But has anybody else got any discussion on this? Just one question, just because I know there's been, I think a lot of, like my club has said on social media, uh, did we get squared away the uh, uh, making sure people kn knew that the guy down there was le le legitimately down there? No, the concerned ones have called Misty's office and she's assured them that they have. But as far as advertising it and no, all, I like people to know we've got somebody watching down there. My grandson asked me, he said, where's the guard? He, he asked me if the guard was down there saying, I done told him it was the guard down there. All righty, for nothing else on the playground, we'll go to other. Uh, is there anything we need to bring up on other? I do know we got to start discussing the swimming pool. Are we going to try to redo it or just patch what we've got? We, I mean, we got to start making decisions on that pretty soon. Is anybody, I mean, uh, floor is open to any discussion on that? Cliff, in your opinion, is it patchable? We spent a lot of time this year on the kiddie pool. Uh, the tile keeps popping off. We've bought some mud and drained it twice this year and patched uh, and got it all back together. It's still losing a lot of water. Uh, the big pool is losing water too. It's it's just, it's it's lived its life. You know, 2011 is when it was built, and we were told 10 years that expect it to last no more than 10 years. And we're three years past that fixing to be four. So it's just, it's, yeah, we can, we can keep putting water in it and patching holes, but eventually it's just going to get out of hand. Uh, it's almost impossible to keep the lights in now that are the underwater lights because all the sockets and stuff are rotted out just to do uh, from the chemicals and chlorine and stuff that's eat all the, all the screws and, and sockets out of them. So it's, it just keeps getting worse. But I mean, we'll, we'll, We'll push it as long as we have to. Did we ever hear from, um, and I forget the name of the company, you think you'd mentioned a previous one, that that, you know, that if, if we did look at replacing it, uh, I know you said you, we'd have to talk to it, and I don't remember the name of the company. Have we reached out to them at all just to try to get any, any, any info on that? I talked to Madison Pools. They're the only ones around here that'll do a complete redo. Of, as far as I know, uh, there was a guy that was supposed to come and look at it and see about shooting this rhino type line. And, you know, I talked about it quite a bit last year and uh, the guy never showed up. I can't get him to answer a phone call or anything. I don't, I don't even know his name. I just got a number and spoke to him one time. So that's uh, that's kind of a bust. Madison Poole said they'd come up and take a look, but it, he told me over the phone he he did it the first time and he knows what it needs. It's going to have to be redone. So, is 
Has anybody got any ideas or discussion? I mean, more discussion on this. <clears throat> Should we go ahead and have them come up here and give us an idea of what we need to be looking at as far as moving forward? Yes. make a motion that we have Cliff give him the liberty to get them to come up here and give us a quote and an estimate on what it would take to do whatever it is they need to do. You got it. Would it be, would it go back basically like it is, or do we want to kind of make it a little nicer? Depends on the price tag. If it was if it was a little nicer, a little bigger, would you get more people there? So maybe not be such a loss. You have any discussion on that, Cliff? I don't know how they could make it any bigger without doing a ton of work. Last time they didn't do the deck, uh, and it's cracking pretty bad. They're probably going to have to dig the deck up and redo it again, or redo it this time. I, I, they didn't do it last time, or I didn't see it in the bid. So uh, I can ask Kevin about it. That's who I was looking up. It's the guy's name that's uh, in charge of that. I've I've spoke with him a couple of times this past year, just uh, building some stuff off of him that I needed to know about the pool and what I could do to you know keep it running. So I'll uh, I'll reach out to him and, and uh, get some more information from him. We'll see what we need to do or what we're, what's possible anyway. We probably won't schedule a meeting for December, but in January we will. If you would try to have us some information by January, we we can make a decision. But we need to go further on this. Is that good with you? See anything else? Anybody needs to bring up? Like I said, I do appreciate. The downtown looks good with the Christmas lights. Appreciate y'all's hard work getting that up. Uh, it does look good. Uh, is there anything else? If not, we move on to public comment. Anybody in the public? Seeing none, I hear a motion to adjourn. Motion by Gully, second by Taylor. Appreciate y'all coming.